Last week I uploaded a video dedicated to showcasing 12 of the upcoming microbrand releases I am most excited about. For those of you that didn't watch it, I will leave a link in the description of this video. I was then stating that the biggest challenge I met when producing the compilation was deciding on which watches to feature, so it's only natural that this is a list of 7 more exciting microbrand releases at the beginning of 2024. World Traveler Easy Al Safa will soon launch Folio's second collection, the Scuba Note on Kickstarter. In a very unusual fashion, all three models will be powered by the true GMT Miyota 90-75 caliber. While the World Diver carries on Folio's ability to design stunning GMT watches, this is the first time I see such a caliber powering a three-hander. Easy replied to my inquiry by stating he wanted to offer the possibility of independently adjusting the hour hand to those traveling that are only interested in reading the local time. Next up is probably the most surprising watch on today's list and definitely the most affordable. With models as large as 50mm across the case, for a long time Aragon's fantastic value for money was unavailable for most of us mere mortals with reasonably sized wrists. The 42mm Divemaster was therefore unanimously praised for introducing the brand to a whole new category of buyers. You can watch my review of it by following the link in the top right corner. So, I guess it shouldn't really come as a surprise that they now released a 40mm diver for the same absurdly low prices they are also famous for. We interrupt this program for an important announcement. I completely understand some of you being reticent in considering a watch I'm recommending based on specs and looks alone, and that's why I'm happy to report the Nadir Vesperas review will be published in just a few days. Produced by the newest in a line of great microbrands hailing from Poland, the Vespera is a tool watch designed by a man whose story you can read on my website's interviews section. Rugged yet smooth, this one's the type of watch featured on EDC videos where reliability is paramount and benefits from a design that enhances its functionality. Another watch I was promised I will get to review is Italian brand Vicaria's take on the GMT complication. Pretty much a variation of their hugely popular diver, the Calypso GMT simply adds in the functionality of a fourth dedicated hand and a specific bezel to a vintage inspired layout that, especially for the price, is a very appealing proposition. I believe it's worth noting this 42mm watch is pressure tested at 30 atmospheres, yet Vicaria managed to keep its thickness to around 13mm. Benefiting from its founder Susan's extensive watchmaking expertise with giants such as Tag Heuer and Omega, Galvin have slowly created a reputation for building watches that are faithful to the Finnish concept of Sisu, the unyielding strength of will, determination and endurance. The Suvi, Galvin's third release, adds in beautiful pastel dials inspired by nature in a tonneau package that seems to be the perfect embodiment of the iron fist in a velvet glove notion. Newcomer's Monarch approach is bold and uncompromising. Original design, premium materials, premium caliber, in-house regulation, ISO certification, the whole nine yards in a package benefiting from the Swiss-made guarantee of outstanding watchmaking that comes with a befitting price tag. Definitely not a watch to buy on a whim, but after careful consideration and I hope to be able to get a review sample in before its launch. Following in the footsteps of their stunning Shirahama, Namika will continue their exploration of the cyberpunk motifs with their sophomore release, the Okami. 
The Titanium Octagon will be available in three different stunning color dials, each with its distinct finishing. Speaking of titanium, the black DLC coating will offer an unheard of 5000 HV hardness, making it virtually impervious to all scratches. The stretch goals of the Kickstarter campaign are also mouth-watering, from the titanium bracelet with on-the-fly micro-adjustment to the stunning three extra color variants. This is it for now. As there are currently over 500 micro brands I'm keeping tabs on, and there's a new one appearing on the scene every other week, if you want to be in the know, the best course of action is to subscribe to the channel. We're building a community here, and finding gems in the rough is just one of my strengths in my mission to help you get the what you want.